Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 9th lab program of CG which is Visaya Curve and there are totally 8 functions so let's go, go through what are the functions uh, for this program the first one is Bino and the second one is Compute Bizarre and the third is Bizarre okay these two are similar we'll discuss that later and those are the main functions okay and after that uh, means the remaining 5 are display that's very simple just one line of code is there clear draw and animate this is also important one and reshape menu and main in main if we start we'll have initialization things here then we'll add a menu and in the next one which is menu here we'll have two choices either draw or idle i'll show you the code at that time you'll understand what i was uh, what i'm trying to say now and reshape function has some initializations like the um, those initializ initialization will be there right matrix mode and ortho and all so those things are there in reshape function so how many functions are over main function is over menu is over and reshape is over and uh, top three are the similar ones okay so also the display is over so four functions are over four functions are left what are the four functions draw and animate is one function and these are the three functions so let's see what is in draw and animate in draw and animate we'll be doing three things drawing and animating so what are the three things how they are uh, combined cp initialization cp is an array for the drawing thing first you'll initialize the array what are the things you need what are the points you need you'll initialize those things by using these points you'll be using three for loops for three colors because we are drawing the flag with three colors so for this one one for loop another for loop another for loop after you have initialized these things you'll be drawing a, a flag here then draw the flag pole that's the three things what you are doing okay so draw and animate first you will be cp initialized then you will do the three for loop for the three colors and then you will draw the flag pole okay and what is there in the three functions is from the uh, draw and animate functionally you'll be calling these functions so in the bino function you have a for loop which is further divided into two for loops okay like star and uh, divide for loop just keep in mind star for loop and divide for loop then we have compute bizarre in compute bizarre some initialization things are there and the, just one for loop is there in bizarre what we have is the initialization things and call bino in for loop call compute biz okay so from the draw and animate bizarre will be called and from there bino will be called and compute bizarre will be called okay so let's go to the code part what is there In the code part, as you can see, there is a whole code part. Develop a menu driven program to animate a flag using Bizarre Curve algorithm. To animate a flag, first you need to make a flag. To make a flag, you first you need to know what are the values you have to insert. So for that, we will do the initialization part first. Then we will draw the flag, then we will animate. These are the three steps you need to keep in mind. Okay. So these are the header files and these are the uh, things you are, uh, which you are defining. So the main things which you are defining are NCP and NBCP. Okay, that is 4 and 20. Now, uh, the type of struct, WC is a struct which has the values X, Y, Z. From the coordinate, we are taking this struct, and uh, if I show you the Bino program, this is the Bino program. As I told you, there is just one for loop here, and this is the star for loop, and this is a divide for loop. And go through it later. And here we have the compute bizarre point. So in compute bizarre point, you have some initialization as well as one for loop. Okay. And in bizarre also, you have the same thing. Just um, some initialization part. You will be calling Bino here, and one for loop here. Inside the for loop, you will calling compute bizarre. In bizarre, what you have some initializations, and you will be calling Bino. Inside the for loop, you will be calling compute bizarre. And then we have the display just one line of code here clear 0001 and here we have the draw and animate function we'll come to this later and here we have the reshape function in the reshape some uh, initialization things are there like clear viewport matrix load entity ortho and clear in menu we have two main uh, two options case one and case two this is the draw and animate it will call draw and animate if you select case one if you select case two it will not do anything it, it will stay null and we have the intent function in the intent function the initialization things are there till here and then the menu is created here then it is uh, attached okay so let's go to the draw and um, animate that function we were remaining with so this is the only function which are remaining with we are creating a cpra cpra has which values these values how to remember these values 20 30 skip 40 50 60 20 30 skip 40 50 60 remember 20 30 skip 40 50 60 then from 100 you'll go to 110 then you will come back to 90 then again you will go to 100 in between 100 and uh, 100 you are going up and going down once and rest is zeros in this way you have to remember okay then what you are doing we are just using three values cp1 cp2 cp3 dot x dot x dot uh, x dot y dot y and here dot x okay so the last one is just dot x and here we have the sign uh, value so you can go through it and write to uh, remember this one so there is no uh, like i didn't find any pattern which can be used for remember just uh, write this a uh, few times you'll remember it okay so you have the th value here and after that the initialization parts are there now here as i told you the initialization part the cp calculation is done that's the first part what is the second part three for loops will be there third part drawing the pole so three for loops are these three for loops this is first for loop and this is second for loop and this is third for loop this is for the saffron color this is for the white color this is for the green color okay so you are performing some 
while loop here to color the flag and after that you are creating a flag pole so flag pole you are creating using the uh, line width and vertex 2f that's all what is there in this program and thank you so much for watching i'll see in the next one